guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another animation video on this channel. Today with a Patreon request from my Patreon, Mia Zilpins. Thank you so much for this request. And this is Lip Service with Hello. This is a group that I have never checked out before. So we are going to check out the K-Profile and some more information about them in a second. So I can learn a little bit about them. And you guys also can learn a little bit about them if you're new to them. And yeah, let's get started with the intro. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I have daily k positions on YouTube. And also have a Patreon channel, as you guys might have noticed. Um, I react to a lot of stuff on there weekly, do album reviews, I react to TV shows, K-dramas, live stages, and all of that stuff. If you're interested in checking it out, then there's links to my Patreon, but also to my Discord and my Twitter if you want to join or follow me. All in the description of this video, but also on top of that, on my website, cultimo.com, which is the best way probably to check out what I do on Patreon, because there's like an overview of all of the uploads I had in the past. You can check that out before pledging your support even, so you can see if there's anything that interests you in particular. So definitely recommend. Quick shout out to my patrons for March. Special shout goes out to Fodoja Ayatna, Eldridge, and especially Mia Silvers, of course, for suggesting and requesting this. Thank you. Alrighty, so this one is called Hello, but that's the English title. The Korean title actually translates kind of to live on dew or live on something. I, mean, I think something is probably better here. I don't know what dew actually means here, but live on something. Okay, interesting. So uh, looking at their K profile. Lip Service is a K-Hip-Hop, K-Hip-Hop, K-Hip-Hop duo, okay. I thought it's like a K-Pop group actually, but no, a duo as well, okay. They debuted under Chorok Entertainment, never heard that uh, entertainment, on 6 February 2014. This song is from 2016, okay, with the song Yum Yum Yum. I think I saw that in a uh, YouTube search that had like almost 2 million views, whereas this one only has 50k, so that's, wow, big difference. The duo originally debuted with Beepa and Kovar. Not long after debut, the company announced a new member, Anna, okay? Not long after, the company released a statement regarding that Cora will leave the group because of personal reasons. Lip Service continued as a duo for a while, then in 2015, the company announced another new member, Cindy. Cindy soon left the group not long after their comeback, due to the fans' bad reaction for replacing Cora. And in 2017, Beeper announced via her Instagram that the group had disbanded. Oh, that's kind of sad. So, they were only around for about three years, so probably not many songs, right? Um, the fan name is Lip Balm, that's really cute. And I want to check the timeline, so I've opened the, the Wikipedia as well. Um, so, because this is from 2016, it says Cindy was in the group in 2016. Um, I don't know if she's in this comeback or not, but definitely Beepa and Anna in here. And Koa, one of the original members, is not in here anymore. So, that's kind of sad, of course, but it is what it is. Um, this is part of Hello, the extended play with only two songs, by the way. And it seems like singles, there have been five in total. So Hello, this is the song that I'm watching now. It's actually the last song too. The last song ever that they did. And they only have five, I guess six with the B-side. So they only have six songs in total. Um, in the Spring is the 2015 comeback. So either Cindy is part of In the Spring or part of Hello. I'm not sure. But we're going to check it out. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to check at least... Um, Beepa and Anna, because those are the members most likely that they're definitely in this comic. Uh, Beepa. Ashley Yoon. Okay. Ashley Yoon. She was born in the United States. So, yeah. Is she... I don't know if she's, like, Korean-American or if she's... Or well, she wasn't born in America, so... But does she have, like, both Korean parents or not? She looks very Korean. Um, she is 1988 line. She was leader, main rapper, vocalist face of the group. So, of course, like, this. Main rapper, by the way, though, that's cool. 1988, so in 2016, she was 28. Okay. Uh, she's, she's also a soloist right now under the same name, that's cool. We have Anna here. She's also a rapper, of course. I mean, it's a K hip hop duo, but she's the main vocal as well. She's really cute. I like her. She's also 1988, so she was also kind of 26. Uh, no, 20, oh, 28, actually, by the way. Sorry, my bad. Uh, I, I think I miscalculated there earlier. And now she's a member of a dance team. Interesting. And then we have Cora, the original member. She was also the main vocalist beforehand, I guess. Um, 90, 90 liner. She was a bit younger. And we have Cindy, who only was there for a little bit. Um, she doesn't even have any date or anything. She, but she was a main vocal as well. So yeah, she, I guess, kind of actually was the, the replacement for Cora for a while. But yeah, so this is probably just Beepa and Anna. Let's check it out. Lip service with Hello. Here we go. Ooh, 15 ranged. Oh, I like the way the beat comes in. 
It's a bit loud though. Very, very, very dominating piano. It's going somewhere though. Ooh. Okay, two things. I already really like the way they use the lyrics on screen. It's really cool. I, ju I just like that. Uh, even with the like the bottle icon and stuff. That's really cool. And the rap man. I like how the piano stopped and it kind of... Wait, did it stop? Yeah. There's only a keyboard now. And like synthesizers. But the rip. This beep, I'm pretty sure, right? But I think Anna just rapped too. If it's only Anna and Bipa, I'm still not sure if it's only the two. But I think it was the first rapper into the second rapper here. I think it was two. People rapping. This is Anna, right? With the blonde. I mean, maybe it's Cindy. I will actually put the, the, the K profile on the second screen. It probably helps a bit. But Cindy also had blonde. Hmm. Oh, her lips, though. Wow. This is very strong. Dude, it's a okay, K hip hop group. Which is so cool, by the way. <laughs> but also, I like when hip hop groups also have like a really good vocalist in there. It sounds so good. If there's like the, the, the bass song is hip hop, but then you put vocals on there too. Oh, it sounds so good. Hello, hello, hmm. hello, this is just Cindy now, by the way, since she was a main vocal. But Anna was too. I don't know. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it's three of them right now. Oh, this is Bipa, yeah. She's cool. She's kind of sing rapping too right now. <laughs> That's Anna. I think this right now is Cindy. Yeah, I think so. so the vocal I like so much is actually Cindy, I think. She sounds really good. Back into the rap. <laughs> By the way, Anna looks a bit like Hyolan. A little bit. It's <laughs> a cute shot. Mm, I'm enjoying this. Not gonna lie. Oh, this vocal. If this is really Cindy all the time, man, her vocal is amazing. I, dude, why did she get hate? I mean, sure, it sucks that I don't know the company structure and like if the company is actually bad and stuff like that. You know, it's like the possibility that that's the case, and it's just that they they kicked Cora for like a really bad reason. Maybe I mean it said personal reasons, so that's just an excuse, most likely. Hmm. You know what I mean? But you wanna check out something here? Beepa, Beepa's YouTube channel. Dance practice, wait, she had an official dance, so she had a song. Beepa, I don't care. At 100k views, actually. Just more than this one. 
six months ago. Huh. So yeah, if you guys want me to react to that, we pass solo from six months ago called I Don't Care. Or if you want me to react to any other lip service songs or just anything else, you know, then let me know in the comments and also let me know if you never knew this song and this group maybe even. Let me know what you think of the song. I personally think, of course, let's talk about the obvious, like the, the elephant in the room. The music video is low production, low budget, but they made it look kind of cool. You know, it was very simple, not, not many locations, like a lot of close-up shots, a lot of like white background shots. And then we had this like one scene where they're in the club kind of ish, um, which was kind of cool. And then we had this corner as well where they were in. So I, I like this shot. I, I actually think they made it work. Uh, especially in the second half of the video. I think in the first half it was much more evident that they just didn't have anything to work with. A lot of shots with white background. The looks were cool, but then afterwards, like the middle section of the music video, so to speak, they just went from facial close-up to facial close-up to facial close-up. It was kind of lazy a little bit. I think they could have thrown in more in between. And yeah, starting with the middle of the, the video, it went... <laughs> this shot though. Um, <laughs> it went into a little bit better type of like music video I guess. Uh, that's the elephant in the room. The production, from what I can tell, was also not the best, but hey, it's Nugu Group I've never heard of and hey, for Nugu Group this, I mean, this didn't sound, let me get it straight, this didn't sound bad. It just was evident that they didn't have the the best options for production, the, 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 the most expensive microphones and like even like the best producers itself, you know. It was evident, but still, this sounded really good. I really liked the vocal especially. I think this had a similar problem to Barry Good's Angel, which I recently reacted to with the, the production, the, the sound production. Some parts of the song were way too loud compared to some others that were a little bit, like, actually way quieter than the loud parts. So it was kind of fluctuating in volume a lot, which, like, really a lot, which is kind of weird. Like, why does that happen? I was already questioning that with Barry Good's Angel. I think there was, it's what even worse there. But here, hmm, it happens, you know. I'm always wondering how does this sound on Spotify. Probably gonna check that out one day, maybe even later today if I have the time to do so. But it was actually really cool. I um really enjoyed checking out the new group, especially K hip hop. I didn't expect that to be honest. Um yeah. So their story is kinda sad, you know, they only had a few songs. Seems like they never really blew up or anything like that. But I'm glad that there are some people appreciating them and that shows, you know, by Mia Ribbons, my Patreon. Actually, weaker singers. Although I know he's like an absolute Nugu lover, so then again, I'm not surprised that he knows this group. But yeah, it's still cool to see. And their debut song, Yum Yum Yum, seems to be probably the most popular with almost 2 million views. Um, yeah, I think that's all my thoughts. I especially like the vocal. If that was Cindy, I really liked her vocal so much. But it also was evident that Beepa herself could also sing pretty well. In the second half of the song, she had like the sing rap part, almost felt more like singing. She was really good too. Her voice, really good. So I wonder what her solo song sounds like, if it's more a vocal song than a rap song, you know? Who knows? But yeah, that is my reaction video to Lip Services. Hello. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know your thoughts and your other requests in the comments down below. And see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Peace.